So let's talk briefly about different lens lengths and how they affect your face shape. Some lenses have a narrower field of view than the human eye can perceive, and some lenses have a wider field of view. For example, the widest possible lens could be something like a fisheye, which is about an eight millimeter lens. You could go a little narrower at a 50. I also have an 85 to try, a 100. Two different similar telephoto lenses. One is a 24 to 70, the other is a 24 to 105. And then you can go to the opposite end of the spectrum, all the way from a 70 to a 200 telephoto lens or a 200 prime. The reason we have so many different lenses in our studio is that everyone's face shape responds differently to a different lens length. The human eye's field of view is somewhere around a 50 millimeter lens for a full frame sensor and around a 35 millimeter lens for a crop frame sensor. This means that most people's sweet spot for looking how they look like in real life and the most accurate to who they are is going to be around the 50 millimeter lens. But every face shape is different and different lenses with different fields of view are going to change the shape of people's face in a different way, which is something that we as photographers can use as a tool in order to draw attention to some features or away from other features. So with something like a 24 millimeter lens, you're gonna to start to notice things in the center of the frame are gonna get larger and things to the sides are gonna get smaller and start to move backward. For your face, that means that your nose could get a little bigger, your forehead could get a little bigger, your hairline can move a little backwards, your ears can get a little smaller. And if you take a longer lens, like the 200 millimeter lens with a narrower field of view, everything in the edges of the frame are gonna move forward and everything in the center is gonna to start to move back. Your hairline might start to move a little bit forward and down, which could make it a little lower if that's what you're looking for. Your ears might start to move forward, which might make them look a little bigger instead of smaller. But it can also make a round face look even rounder because you're bringing the back of it forward. This is also why some people love selfies taken with a phone and other people hate them. Because the cameras on your phone are the equivalent of anywhere from between a 10 millimeter to a 50 millimeter lens. So for some people that makes them look amazing and other people it makes their head look really tiny and their nose look huge. So when you're having your photo taken professionally, make sure that your photographer isn't using a lens on either end of the spectrum that's just a little too far. Not very many people look good with a fisheye lens or those really long 400 millimeter lenses they use at baseball games. Make sure your photographer has a couple different lenses at their disposal so that they can try out different lens lengths with different fields of view to see what works best for your face so that you can accentuate what you want to accentuate and minimize what you want to minimize.